All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechakodash, the bonus to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations and much love to you. I came out there pushing out this word and truth and sensation, and sensation, and truth and sincerity. And um, I just want to do a quick video, here's rotational, Lord's will, is that a fun? And to the hopeful elect out there, you know, just, uh, you know, to continue in this truth. Like the book of Sirach says, you know, strive for the truth unto death. You know, so we're supposed to, you know, continue in this. You know, whether, uh, you know, it's 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 the re reason you get put to death. All right. If you got to be a martyr for this truth, then so be it. You know, that's not supposed to discourage you or have you doubting, have your faith wavering. All right. Because the, the, the possibility of dying for this word. All right, the Yahweh I said, "There's a great, there is no greater love than a man lay down his life for his friends, like Yahweh I did for us." All right, and what Yahweh I knew what the outcome was going to be, and he still did it. All right, yeah, he had he had that moment where he wanted the cup to be passed from him, but he still, at the end of the day, he still did it. Okay, so we have to be in that same mindset. That's why Yahweh is our greatest example. You know. And this walk of ours, we gotta, we gotta strive for, for the truth, man, to death. You know, so and I, I seen through the spirit, brother's been doing videos on that. You know, you know, prepare your mind to be beheaded, because it's a possibility, man. It's a possibility that you get killed for this word. But hey, that's a, that's a, that's a glorious death. All right, I'd rather die for Yahweh Bashim Al Shai than to die for some stupid shit. You know, like these, these dumb. Simple-minded bird, no, not even bird brains, peons, all right, that um, joined the military and they're willing to die for their country and whatnot. Well, you're supposed to be in that, uh, that mindset, the same mindset in this truth, man. But even on an even greater level, because this is the, this is the true, um, the true, uh, the truth. This is the greatest um, job you can have. Is to teach this word, preach this word, prophesy, right? Live the way Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has told us to live. Condemn this place, all right? So we got to be, you know, willing and able to die for this word. It's easier said than done, of course, right? Because at the end of the day, you know, none of we all want to make it to the end. All right, the scripture tell you about that. You know, that's one of the greatest things to see, downfall of your enemy. You know, so we got to be, you know, pushing for this word, man. Because this is the only way out. If you don't want to die, then do what's commanded of you. And, and, you know, you still might die at the end of the day, you know, because there's going to be martyrs for this truth. But, hey. That sh nothing should be able to take you away from this truth, man. Nothing should be able to take your crown. All right, the scriptures say, let no man take your crown. All right, the, the Romans chapter 8 tells you that, man. That no, no principalities, you know, angels. All right, nothing should be able to take you out of this truth. All right? Because we, we, we know what we're, uh, we're, we're working for. We're working for salvation. We're working for eternal life, man. We want to be the, part of the first fruits, all right, to receive the kingdom of heaven. You know, <laughs> we have to strive for this the the kingdom, man. If we want to be a joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, then we have to continue in this word. And then we got to spiritually prepare ourselves for the, this um, time of Jacob's trouble. All right, there's no, you can't physically prepare, all right, for the time of Jacob's trouble, man. That's the, that's being carnal minded. And the scriptures, the scriptures tell you to be carnally minded is death. All right, so we got to spiritually prepare. Because how can you prepare physically for something that's never even happened on the earth? It's going to be a time like no other. So you can't, you can't prepare for it carnally. But we can prepare for it spiritually. All right, and that's being grounded, being rooted in your how about Shem Shai, man. Having the faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai that he's going to get us through these times. All right. And it, even if it comes to that point where you're about to be beheaded, 
they about to decapitate you. Hey, the, it's still, it's hey, the Lord could the guillotine might drop and it breaks around you, man. You bust out of, you bust out of the the, the chains and start re, wreaking havoc, you know. So you gotta have the faith unto death, man. Never lose that faith, because the Lord has delivered us or delivered many uh, prophets of old right at the last second, man. You can, and, and and how much more in these last this is the last go around man the last time okay if you don't believe you won't receive man so we gotta you know you know first and foremost myself i say this to you know to myself first and foremost we got to be make sure we're, we're rooted and our, our true our uh our faith in this truth is rooted solid you gotta have a solid foundation Cause when that tempest, that the boisterous winds come, you want to make sure that 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 you're not gonna be moved, all right? Like a, a hurricane comes, right? And it just starts pulling trees everywhere, you know, trees flying. But what, you know, the the, the trees that aren't fully rooted, but you got an old, an old big ass tree, a big oak tree or something, that's been there over a hundred years. That bitch ain't going nowhere, man. It's because it's what it's got a solid foundation. Is its roots go? It, the roots go deep, all right. And that's how we got to be, man. So we can withstand the wiles of the devil, all right. We you got to be able to uh, withstand all the all the persecution, all right. The demonization. So the scriptures say some of us gonna be cast into prisons, some of us gonna be beheaded. But it's all, it's all, if, hey, take, it's a glorious death, man. Like, if you watch the, the movie 300, the first one, and what they, they were, hey, uh, when they saw all the ships, that one guy said, you know, this is, it's a glory, it's going to be a glorious death, you know, so I can't remember exactly how he said it, but that's how you got to be in the mindset of, hey, if you got to die, then so be it. It's for the Yahweh by Shemal Shai. And what, if you die, you're going to be risen up with Yahweh Shai when he returns. And you, you know? But of course we want to be, uh, we want to see this thing out to the end. You know, we want to be, you know, uh, abducted, so to say, <laughs> in the chariots. We want to be, we want to, we want to see our, the faces of our enemies, and we want them to see us as we go up into the chariots to meet the Lord in the air. All right, and live forevermore. All right, that's 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 what we're working for, man. Scriptures say, "He that runneth a race runneth to attain the prize." You know. So hey, we're, do, that's what we're doing. We're we're, we're expecting a prize because it's been promised, and all we got to do is endure, suffer. All right, have patience, because the Lord is is, is going to hold true to His word that He's promised us. All we got to do is simple: keep the faith, do the work. Be brotherly, prophesy, all right, pray, and then we're going to receive a reward that's far greater than the sufferings that we're currently going through. And if we can do that, the Lord's going to make us uh, rulers over many things, man. And if we, we, we faithful over little, you know, over little things, the Lord's going to give us a, a great reward, man. And it's and it's absolutely worth it, you know. How how much greater is the reward going to be than the punishment? And and we we're entering into the time where the Lord is making it very clear and manifesting who He's dealing with. All right, the Lord's making moves on earth, bringing heavy judgment, great judgments. So you don't want to be part of them, the people that get judged on the left hand side, get that wicked. Because everybody's going to get a reward for their works. Now, it's either going to be for your, your good works or for the evil works. All right? In Lord's will, we be part of that number that to receive the works for the righteousness, man. Because this is righteousness in the eyes of the Lord, man. Sacri uh, for Forsaking our lives. Giving up spiritual sacrifices. All right? Obeying the Lord. Lord said oh, oh, he rather that obey uh, uh let's say obeying is better than sacrifice all right so do what the Lord said he don't want no 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 turtle doves and also lambs goat lamb goat blood you know no he want he, he that's done with 
Yahweh Shai was that sacrifice. Now we got to obey, do what he's commanded us to do. And we're going to receive the reward for it. But again, you know, don't let nothing discourage you from this truth. Don't let nothing um, distract you from this truth. Yeah, we're in the flesh and we got to do things, our daily duties, whatnot, work, pay bills, whatever. But at the end of the day, you don't want none of that to hinder you from this truth. Because all this carnal shit is going to be burned up. It ain't going to profit you, all right, in the day of wrath. So we did. We have to use the world, not abuse it. And, and keep in mind that none of this is going to help you in the day of trouble, in the day of Jacob's trouble. And it's all going to be burned up anyway. All right. We're, put, we're storing our treasures in the heavens where neither moth corrupt and thieves break in to steal. All right. So we want to be able to cash in our, our, our earnings in that day. And then the Lord is going to bestow that spiritual. Uh, he gonna, the Holy Spirit is really going to turn up upon us. OK. And he's going to guide us in that day. In Isaiah 33, 6, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of the times. You're going to be have, you're going to have to be led through the Holy Spirit, Hawakakwadash, in that day to survive. Knowing what's going on. Knowing what to do, what's coming next. Who to have faith in. All right. So with that, you know, Lord's will is edifying. Uh, we're almost out of here, brother. Stay strong and continue to be fervent. Shalom.